everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm gonna do an almost full face of Dior makeup. So I ordered some makeup from Dior. I have an eyeshadow palette, haven't tried that before. I have a foundation that we're gonna try out and I'm gonna do a wear test on this. So I'm gonna come back to you in this video and see. And I also have another blush. I have one from before, a pink one. Now I bought this one. And yeah, and I got actually this little lip gloss, I suppose. We're gonna try it out and I have some other stuff here from Dior uh, from before. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do today. And if this is the first time here, very welcome to my channel. My channel is almost all about makeup. I do love makeup, but I also love to vlog. I love to do fashion related videos. So check it out if you like it, subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I ordered from Dior and the Dior website. I really like uh, when they are doing like this. You got like a little pouch here. You everything here, like all this says, Dior on it, like all of these. So it's just those small things that is really, really nice. And I wanted to try this foundation here. So I bought this one. This is the Face and Body Foundation. This is a second skin effect natural finish, water and heat resistant and buildable. I suppose this is like a light to medium or medium coverage or something. I have no idea, but I have this in one N, so one neutral. And when I looked at it, <laughs> it looks really dark for, for being this like light and neutral. I believe this looks like a little bit of, it's like peachy or something. I don't know. I, I compared it with another foundation I have in my collection, but we're gonna try it out and do a wear test on this one. And then from before I had this one that I really, really love. This is the Rosy Glow, the Backstage, Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blush. But now I wanted a new shade. So I bought this one, the coral one. And it's very, very cute. You have a little mirror and it looks like a very beautiful coral shade. So I love the formula on the pink one. So now we're gonna try this one. Hopefully it's, it's the same good quality. And then I wanted to try their eyeshadow formula. So I bought this one. This looks so pretty. This is the Cool Neutrals. So you actually have a row. The first row is actually a primer, eye primer. So we're gonna try that. And then we have highlighter and sculpting powder. And the second row is shimmers and the last row is mattes. They look very shimmery, these two right here, but this is the shimmery road, so I don't know. This one doesn't look that shimmery, but I wanna try it out and I love the colors. And then I got like a perfume sample and I actually got this one as well. So we're gonna try this one out as well. So this is a plumping and hydrating lip gloss and this is in the shade pink. So we're gonna try this one out as well. And from before I have this one. So we're gonna use this one today, it is the Backstage Dior Glow Face Palette. So there is some highlighters here. And I also have this one that I really, really love from before. This is the Face and Body Powder No Powder. I love this powder, so maybe we're gonna try that as well. I have no idea. Let's get started, guys. Okay, I assume you guys in. So I am very curious about this foundation, as I said. This is a new formula, by the way. They have reformulated <laughs> the old one of this foundation. And I just think we're gonna prime half of my face because I wanna see if this is like, I don't know, if this makes any different when, I'm gonna come back to you in this video. And after, few hours and then we're gonna see we're gonna do the prime side here we're gonna see if this primer if that actually works and looks uh, better or long-lasting and so okay so they had a lot of shades but they don't have a lot of light shades <laughs> I think I would we're gonna see if this is too dark but I have a feeling maybe that I should have gone one shade lighter. And it is like a very beautiful bottle. It is squishy, like it's very uh, soft. And I have my sponge here, so let's just do like this. I don't know, maybe this is, I have no idea how much. Maybe this is not too bad, actually. I don't know. 
maybe it's gonna oxidize as well but I'm gonna start here this is supposed to be like a radiant a little bit like glowy and I know the old formula was not supposed to be that that is more matte so that's why I was very curious about this one because I love a little more glowy foundations now these days so I don't know so I just took two dots as you could see like pumps maybe and it actually works with more than half of my face I think I can like blend it out a little bit more okay guys so this is the prime side it goes on very easily it is a little more runny consistency and it's I think it smells does it have a scent to it but look I think the color actually works oh my god I am happy I do think you can see that it covers a lot of my freckles you can see this side the redness and the freckles and it looks very very natural hmm I am happy guys it really looks very seamless like it's melting into the skin okay this may be a good foundation like I am very excited about this because I I have my like go-to foundation right now that is my absolute favorite one that is from Kaya Cosmetics so I will compare it to that one because that is my fave but I mean this one this one is may not too bad look at that glow like can you see like the beautiful natural glow the Kaya one is more glowy like it looks like more 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 glowy this is like a little more subtle glow but it is a glow oh my god I really really like it should I put some concealer straight away I think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer not much and then we can zoom in and just see how it looks before we put any bronzer and this blush and highlighter on because we do want to see how it looks but I do need to cover <laughs> A little bit here my under eyes okay guys now we're gonna zoom in so this is the prime side I'm not sure if this looks like if there is any different yet or difference <laughs> I don't believe so maybe we're gonna see in a couple of hours but look how stunning this is like you can't see that I have foundation on I feel like this looks very very natural like you can see my freckles peeking through it said that you could build it up as well but I don't want to do that I like when I can see a little bit of freckles and it looks very very promising and beautiful and here is the real test like in the I don't know if you can see like in here in the forehead because here I am always a little bit dry so it always looks cakey if there is like a foundation that can do that but this one I feel like it looks very seamless <laughs> and that is a really good really good thing actually okay I zoom you guys out again okay first impression just first like now it looks gorgeous it looks so gorgeous I am so happy okay I am going to bronze up my face I don't have a Dior I'm just gonna take the Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer and we're gonna do that and then we actually going to use the new blush I'm very excited I love the rosy blush uh, you know yeah the one I showed you <laughs> in the beginning of the video I love that one I love the formula I know it's super hyped up I bought it before TikTok like made a thing of it like everyone want to use it but I loved it like from start and I have been thinking of buying 
like this coral shade but yeah now I just did it because I wanted to order the foundation so I just and uh, eyeshadow palette so okay here it is guys it's so so beautiful I mean the embossing in this like the Dior embossing it's so beautiful it's very luxurious so let's dive into this one I am very excited how this one gonna look okay I can see right now that it looks good <laughs> this coral blush I don't know if this is gonna work with the cool tone eye look we're gonna do <laughs> I wanted to get the green eyeshadow palette but it was sold out everywhere uh, on the website, your website, but also like Sephora. <laughs> so I picked this one because I do love cool tone neutrals, like cool tone pink, purple neutrals, mauves. So what a beautiful blush. Oh my God. What a beautiful blush. I'm going to just compare these two. Like, can you see this is like neon, but it's not neon on the face, but this is more subtle, but you can see it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this and I really love this face palette. I love this shade here, it's very beautiful. I love every shade in this one, obviously. I think it's beautiful, but I'm just gonna highlight a little bit. I don't know if we actually need that. I'm gonna dip into, I'm gonna show you what I'm dipping into here. It's just, uh, as I said, I don't know if I need that much highlighter. I took this one and then I took this one. But I do love this one so much. Okay, I am very, very excited about this eyeshadow palette. So I think we need to dig into this one. What I'm going to do, because they have an eye primer here that I really want to try, I'm going to put the <laughs> Dior eye primer on the prime side. And then I'm going to take my regular eye primer. This is from... Gloss Gods, that uh, that base, Crease Killer Eyeshadow Base number three on this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna prime and we're gonna see. Okay, I'm zooming you guys in a little bit more. Let's start, let's see here. Yeah, this eye, <laughs> we're gonna take this primer here. I am very excited about this primer. So I'm gonna use a brush here or should I use a brush? I'm gonna take my finger so I really can feel. Okay, here it is. Okay, we're gonna do like this. It is like drying. I like dry. It's not. <laughs> it dries down when I put it on. But it covers as you can see. Yeah, it's like dry now. All of my shadow palette. Uh -huh. All of my eyeshadow bases I have had have like a sticky base, but this one hasn't. Feels like it gets like you know cream to powder, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna put my regular eye primer on this side here, and this is more runny as you can see. This is more like this is not a cream to powder formula, but I feel like maybe that one from Dior is because I cannot feel like anything. It feels just very, not uncomfortable dry, but like, like I have nothing on right now. Okay, and this one is more like a regular one. You can see here, I don't know. Should I take more? Should I just use a little bit more here? Okay, 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 now. <laughs> <laughs> now for the eyeshadow. Okay, I am so excited to try these. So we're gonna start obviously with the mattes. I think this is too light for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna start with this one right here in the middle. Oh, it picks up a lot actually, but it's not like, let's, oh, okay. This is pigmented. Maybe I was wrong. I didn't expect it to be this pigmented red right away but I must say this is very pigmented and beautiful what a beautiful shade okay yeah this is actually really nice 
what I do like about this eyeshadow palette is that it's not too big. You actually have nine shades. Well, you have actually eight shades and one primer, but it is small and compact. So if you want to travel with that, because I don't love quads, that's the thing. I don't love quads because I feel like four shades is not enough for me, but this one has definitely more. Look how beautiful. Okay, we're gonna dig into this again. It picks up a lot. That's really nice. And we're gonna put it here where I have my other primer, like my regular one. Yeah, I don't feel any difference with these. So maybe it's a good primer. We're gonna see over, over time. So I'm just blending this into the crease here. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smaller brush and we're going to go into this really, really dark shade here and put it here and start to build it up. Oh, this is very stunning actually. So far, I am very impressed. I really like these shades. Okay, I am pretty happy with how this looks actually. I mean, maybe I can take that lighter shade now. I'm actually gonna dip into this one, the light pink, and then we're actually gonna just blend a little bit, like the edges here. Maybe it's gonna add a little pink as well. Okay, now for the shimmers. I feel like this one in the middle, as I said, and this highlighting, I don't know, highlighter and sculpting? Is this supposed to be like face? No, I don't think so. Okay, I need to try. This one I can have in my inner corner because then we're gonna see if it's that shimmery. I feel like this is like a satin. I'm gonna use this one now and then I'm gonna use that one. So we're gonna start with this one here. And I always spray my shadows, my shimmer shadows, so they are getting more intense. That is a really pretty shade. That is actually really good. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I don't know what I was expecting here, but I'm gonna put it in the middle so maybe we can use all of the shades, like the shimmer shades. Okay, this is very, very pretty. Okay, I'm going in with this one now, this highlighter shade, and we're gonna put that in the inner part here. So this is more, this is like a purple. The first one is more like a metallic purple. This one is more like a cool tone champagne maybe. Very beautiful. Super stunning as you can see. Okay, very, very beautiful. I am very excited about trying this one, the dark shimmer, because these two, now I'm taking these two, and these are very, you can see they are sparkly. These two are more like satin shades maybe. Okay, this is very, very dark. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be very dark, I believe. I'm gonna put it maybe in the outer part here. We're gonna try that another day with like a bigger area because I don't wanna put it too close to the lighter shades. It's going to be darker. So I feel like I wanna do like this. Now I'm just gonna take the same matte shades under my eyes just to have a little bit of shadow underneath as well. Darker shade I just take here like in the outer part like that. Okay, now I wanna try this lightest shade, the shimmer shade. Then we actually have tried everything except this one here. Oh my God, can you see? So we're gonna take this one now. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna put this just in the inner corner. Yeah, I think I need to spray this one. I don't know, it says it's a shimmer, but I don't know, is it? I feel like it's, yeah, maybe it is like a satiny shimmer. It's not like super shimmery, but I don't need that in the inner corner. It's very pretty. It's like a pink, light pink one. Really nice for like an inner corner to just lighten up a little bit. 
That is very, very pretty. Okay, guys, I am very impressed with this one. Okay, I am going to finish up my eyes later on off camera because it's boring to watch maybe, but we're gonna try the lip, like the plumping lip. Okay, guys, I just aligned my lips with this lip pencil here. <laughs> I need to buy a new one. It's from NYX and it's the Peekaboo Neutral. And now we're gonna try this one. So this is a plumping lip gloss. Oh my god, it's so small. It's so small. And this was in the shade Row. No, pink. Uh, just pink. And I have... Do I have two lip glosses from Dior from before? And their lip gloss formula is amazing. I must say, they are expensive, but I... I really like it. It's very comfortable. It is like very thick on the lips, so you know. It's a very thick formula of lip gloss. But I don't feel like it is like, you know, when you press your lips together that it's going to be like, they're gonna stick. Uh, not at all. And now I can feel, you know, the plumping effect just tickling, <laughs> do you say that tickling? A little bit on the lips. It gets a little bit cold. Yeah, so now it gets a little bit cold. But what I'm going to do, I am going to, it looks really pretty, but I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'm gonna give you a little close up and then we're gonna look at the foundation again. And as I said, I'm going to do check-ins uh, today, so, uh, we're gonna see how it looks through the day. Okay guys, I have finished my eyes. I didn't put any um, lashes on today because I didn't feel like it, but I really, really love this eye look. I mean, I am so impressed with the eyeshadow palette. It is really, really pretty. I mean, I didn't expect this one to be that pigmented, but they're really, really nice. I mean, this one is very, very light, but these shimmers are really, really pretty. This one I really need to try a little bit more, but it looks very, very pretty, actually. This one is very subtle. I mean, look at the inner corner, but maybe it is going to be more like an inner corner shade for me, so I don't mind that. This one I didn't try, but it feels like it's a matte, I mean, sculpting, what did it say, like, sculpting powder <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> and yeah maybe i'm gonna use this as well i mean i cannot see right now any difference between these two with the eye primer so we're gonna see after a couple of hours because we're gonna see how the foundation is looking the blush really pretty and this lip gloss here the plumping one uh it's not bad at all, you know, if you are, if you don't like this uh, plumping effect. It just tickles a little bit and it's almost gone now, so I don't feel like it is like too, too much. So, and it's really, really pretty. And now for the foundation. So we're gonna zoom in. Okay, now we are zoomed in. I mean, I have just applied it. I mean, it's been maybe an hour now or maybe not like less than an hour. <laughs> But I cannot see any difference from the like prime side here and non-prime side, but it looks so, so pretty. It has a dry down, uh, so it's not tacky at all. And I feel like it looks so natural. I mean, now I have a little bit of highlighter, but you have like a natural glow and not too glowy, which I like. Oh my god, this looks so promising, guys. Okay, this looks so, so promising. So I'm going to come back to you in a couple of hours. I'm going to do maybe one or two check-ins during the day. So we're going to see how the foundation is wearing through the day. And we're also going to see this eye primer. I'm very excited to see if, if there will be any difference from the eye primer that I have with this one in this palette. So yeah, for me, it's going to be in a couple of hours. For you, it's going to be right now. Okay guys, I am back. It has been seven hours since I applied this foundation. So let's take a look at the eyeshadow. So we're gonna see how it looks up close. I have been looking through the window, so I have natural daylight and it looks really, really good. So now I have Sumi guys in. This is the prime side and this is the non-prime side. First of all, I cannot see any difference whatsoever uh, with these like the prime side and the non-prime side. I feel like it looks kind of, oh my God, I have been 
<laughs> been in the basement today but um, yeah I can't see any difference like on each side but I feel like it looks really 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 good I was looking as a sad in daylight and it just looks so natural I don't know if it has like faded or if it's still there because it looks just natural you can see like the foundation on what I can see here though it has been fading a little bit but it always does that on me so here and here but overall I feel like it looks so so good it's like very seamless and beautiful so probably it has been fading a little bit but it still looks really, really good and the eyeshadow I hope you can see like this is the primed with the Dior one and this is with my regular and I can't see anything different like it's it still looks good on both sides and I just think this eyeshadow is very very beautiful as well it has been holding up so many hours and I'm gonna pop in one more time for you guys to see um, so maybe in the evening I can check in and we can see how it looks but for now it looks really really good okay guys I am back again for my last check-in with you guys it has been 10 hours and this foundation guys I think this is going to be like my new favorite like this and the Kaya Cosmetics one because to be totally honest that one it has number one place always I feel like but this one maybe will be like number one as well like yeah so it looks so so good I mean it has been as I said uh, fading here and here I probably blown my nose and I've been eating so uh, so around here it has been fading a little bit but it looks so good in the forehead and you know I like foundations when they are fading a little bit that is better than foundation that looks patchy or cakey during the day this just looks very seamless and I feel like it looks still very gorgeous the skin and I don't feel like my oils has picking through a lot because I get very oily here but I don't feel like it is getting that oily so that is a big plus with this foundation this is just the first impression though so I will <laughs> I will use this from now on I mean I love the packaging as well I mean it is expensive I don't know I'm gonna link it down below how much this is but for now I really feel like this is a great foundation and I, as I said I have one N and I feel like this was actually a really good match. It looked a little bit dark and it looked a little bit almost like orangey peach, no more like yeah maybe orangey peach but it absolutely is beautiful on the skin I have nothing to complain about the shade actually but think lighter because I do feel like they are a little bit dark and if this is 1N I don't feel like there were some shades that is lighter than this but I don't think if you are fair I don't know I don't know guys I'm not sure but really love this one so far and yeah I took some more of this this is so cute you guys this is perfect to have in your, in your bag I mean it's so small even if you have like a small evening bag when you're going out you can just have this pop in okay so that one was very very nice as well I just popped on on as you can see I really love the glossy finish and yeah and the eye look the eye look guys now it has been 10 hours and it looks amazing. Seriously, it looks amazing. I can feel actually it looks, it looks kind of evenly, but this where I actually have the eye primer from Dior, the, the one that was in the eyeshadow palette looks almost better. Well, maybe they look similar, I don't know, but 
looks so good. I really love this color story. I mean, look how beautiful that is. If you love cool tones and a little more purpley, dusty purple, this is very, very pretty, guys. Super happy with all the product and the blush. I don't know if, do I have any blush on? I don't know about the prime side and non-prime side. I can't see any difference at all. So <laughs> I probably don't have to prime, but the blush maybe has, maybe it's gone now. I don't know. Maybe I have to take a little bit more on. I was, I didn't take it that much. So maybe I have to be a little more heavy with that blush, but I do feel like yeah, the complexion looks so, so good, guys. I am so happy with this first impression with all these products. I, uh, yeah, really, really happy. Tell me down below if you own this foundation, this new formula, because they have reformulated, as I said. And the other one was more matte. This one is more like glowy, a little more glowy. Uh, but tell me down below if you own this one and if you like it. And yeah, I'm so happy you've been here with me. I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. And I see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.